Good morning, good evening, good afternoon. This is Phoenix 198720 here to bring you my review of Mary Odyssey. So before I go any farther in this video, hit that like button, share this with all your friends and family, hit the subscribe button, turn on that notification so you can get my latest films, and drop down a comment below because I, I read everything the good, the bad, the ugly, the trolls. It's all fun for me, it's all good stuff. Uh, so I'm going to get on with this uh, review right here. Mary Odyssey, I thought the gameplay was very different, very unorthodox, which was brilliant in my plan. It didn't, it kind of had you saying things, Bowser takes princess, princess is gone to far away, Mario rescues princess. But in this case, because this is pretty open world, similar to like Mario 64, just a whole lot different. I, I like that you can go for the 3D graphics and depending on where you were in the games, what part you go to the 8 bit Super Mario Bro graphics to get through little parts. I really enjoyed that. And I really enjoyed the nice plot twist at the end. Honestly, I didn't see that one coming. I don't think anybody's seen it because if you played Mario games as long as I have, that was something that was never there. So the good plot twist at the end was awesome. I really enjoyed the bosses, each level, each world from their bosses. They weren't your typical bosses, but they were new, something different, and I really enjoyed that. Um, overall, I thought the story was phenomenal. I really, really loved how the story ran and all together, and I love that after you beat the main story, there was a lot of post-adventure left to do. and. Which made it nice. It didn't just bam stop and the princess is in another castle, no. And for the most part, this is a one player game, but but two players can play this game. One controlling Mario, the main guy, and the other person controlling Cappy. Which depending on what type of moon you're going for, Cappy being controlled by the second player made things a lot easier, in my opinion. And it could be different for each. Some of you guys could be playing with the motion. Some of you guys could be playing with the pro controllers. And some of you guys could be playing with the wired controllers. It all depends on you, the player yourself. But, no, I like that. And I like that they included, like, Luigi's in this game for um, Luigi's uh, balloon hunt. And you could get Yoshi and ride Yoshi around on certain levels. But I also like that. When you're capping, you throw your cap at something, you become it. And it gave it a whole, to me, it gave it a whole different experience because no, you're not getting those power ups that you see, but you're becoming what you are throwing your hat at. If it's a tank, if it's a, a frog, a goomba, a fish, whatever they're called. But you know what I'm saying? You got, you got a different feel and a different twist. And I like that they brought older Mario characters back into the mix like uh, Paulina how she was the original princess that uh, Mario had to rescue in Donkey Kong the arcade game and I, I like how they were able to reach back and grab a little bit of history from every single Mario game I seen something at least myself from every single Mario game so I really really enjoyed it graphically wise this is a pretty, pretty crystal clear graphic game for a Mario game. So, we know we're going to have people out want one in there. Well, Mario is just a uh, kid's game. No, it's not, guys. It's not a kid's game at all. You may It may not have the realistic Call of Duty graphics, but it's Mario. Mario is fun. Mario is awesome. Um, right now, I have Mario dressed as Santa Claus. Look at that. You can go. Um... So graphically, I thought this this game was pretty pretty like supernatural for me, like like OMG kind of style, like where I grew up on Mario to where Mario is now. I think Nintendo is doing an awesome job, an awesome job with all their games of like like the depth and detail, and a lot of their games are really really beautiful, and a lot of people don't see that because they're doing a different type of a, a style of graphics that are not technically used so they're playing event and yes they, they have their own machine so yeah they're playing to the full advantage of their machine the switch but 
they know how to make the game look smooth. The, the details look awesome when it comes to this game. And like, there's nothing really that graphically I can complain about besides the fact that it's not realistic graphics. Guess what? Mario is not a realistic character. He is a... He, he's Mario. He's a, a fictional character that Nintendo created. So yeah, they're keeping it their mascot here to what their mascot was originally drawn up back X amount of years ago. They're not changing them. They're not putting an actor's face to Mario. They're doing Mario. Nintendo is doing Mario. What they do best. They make the games fun and lovable. And it's fun for all ages. Like my son, when he jumps on this game, the Mario Odyssey to play by himself, he'll go right to the options and he knows how to put on assist mode so his health can regenerate and stuff like that. So anybody that loves video games and loves Mario Hardcore, doesn't matter what your age, if you're four or five, if you're 80 or 90, guess what? It's a fun game. You can't go wrong with Mario. And like I was saying just a few minutes ago that you can become like, I just became that Goomba and I have now the Goomba power, which is awesome. But that's on a whole different thing. And music, I love the music in this game because for me, depending on what world you're at, you have this, have the nice, the mood is set perfectly with each world. They're not overpowering like New New Donk City, uh, I love it because you got the you can hear the jazz in the background and stuff like that. But if you go to a different world in this game that you can run around, you can hear like the Sand World. We always know there's going to be a Sand World to Mario, but you can hear that uh, Super Mario Bros. Three music in it. But it's remixed. It's changed up to be more modern day. It's not your eight bit sound anymore. It's more modernized, which is awesome. Um, like I said, the graphics is great in this game. Storytelling is good, and they got a unique twist at the end, which I'm not gonna lie, I didn't see it coming. And good for Peach, good for Peach. That's all I could really say. Um, controls, they're they're not only can you play with regular traditional controls, you can incorporate um, motion into your game. And how you like to play. So if you're a person that likes motion, you can fully, pretty much, run motion. Just only thing you're not going to be able to do is do this with uh, turn left or right with the motion. You're going to still have to use your Joy Con joysticks for your camera views and how Mario is going to run. Now this game also can be played virtual reality. I don't know how that one works because I've never played a virtual reality on the Nintendo Switch yet. So, personally, I don't think Nintendo Switch is the proper hardware for the game, but you never know. You might put it on virtual reality, you might get one of those lab coat uh, virtual reality kits, plug this in, put it on, and you may love it, but that's up to you. So there's multiple different ways to play this game. You can play this single player or two player. The music's great, it's got new music in it, and it's got remix of older music that you see in the Mario games. Graphically, you can't complain. Controls, they're good. They're not too complex. They're not got to remember so many different combinations. And this game's a whole lot of fun. So, if you got a Nintendo Switch, but you just got it for Christmas, or you're getting it for Christmas, and you you want a game for yourself or for your kids, I recommend this game fully to anybody that doesn't have this game for the Nintendo Switch. And as a huge Mario fan, you're not going to be disappointed. It's fun. It's a lot of adventure. It could be frustrating at times, depending on the person. But it, it's Mario. How can you go wrong, right? let the go! So, overall, I'm going to have to give this game an 8.8 .8 out of 10. I loved it. I recommend this game for everybody. Young, old, middle. You know what I mean? It's classic Mario, and you can't go wrong. So... If you don't have this game yet and you're getting it for Christmas, Power 2, if you haven't got it and you get it on a Boxing Day sale on your eShop or local retailer stores, 
I suggest you go out and get it. It's a lot of fun. You can put in a lot of hours into this game. And it's 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 a fresh game for people that haven't played it. And it's a fresh game for people that have played past Mario games because this is original. This is a different storytelling. Yes, we know the plant Bowser capture Peach, but there's twists and turns and makes it seem a lot different. This ain't your straight side scroller. This is a really good game, so if I were you, I'd go, if you don't have this for your Switch, do yourself a favor. Get a copy of it for yourself. So until next time, this is Phoenix198720 saying I hope you have a good morning, a good evening, and a good afternoon. Peace.